Welcome to Roughing It With Ruth, the channel where everything is a bit rough around the edges. If you're looking for a different way to do the Otter Trail, maybe you've always wondered what it was like to do it backwards or whether it's possible to do it in a shorter amount of time than five days, then this video is for you. I'm talking, of course, about the Otter African Trail Run, which is the only trail run that allows you to run along the Otter Trail in the Garden Route in South Africa. It is the entire trail, so it is 42 kilometers with 2,600 meters of elevation gain. That's a whole lot of stairs up and down. And there are actually two versions of the race. They are completely identical other than the cutoff time. Before I go any further in this video, I do want to let you know that entries for the Otter African Trail Run in 2024 are opening very soon. Entries for 2023 past participants, as well as premium entries and corporate entries open tomorrow, the 25th of October, and entries for everyone else in the general public will open on the 1st of November. That's this year. So the very first version of the race, which takes place on the Wednesday and the Thursday, is called the Challenge, and that has an 11 hour cutoff time for the main race. And the other race is called the Run, and that takes place on the Friday and the Saturday, and that one has a cutoff time of eight, I think they've actually changed it. I think that one now has a cutoff time of nine hours. But you can always go and check the Otter African Trail Run website, which I will put a link in the description to if you want to see the most up-to-date information about all of that. The Otter African Trail Run is obviously a very exclusive event because it is such a sensitive environment that they are putting runners out into. They are very limited in the number of runners that can be put out there. So it is a very expensive race and it does sell out extremely quickly. Another thing that you do need to remember about the Otter African Trail Run is you do have to do a compulsory seeding event called the Prologue the day before your race. So for the challenge that would be on the Wednesday and for the run that would be on the Friday. That is a much shorter race around four to five kilometers and you run that and then you get placed in a seeding batch for your start on the actual race day. When you go to registration you might be tempted to wear your running shoes because after all you might want to just grab your timing chip and go and run the prologue right away. But my suggestion is to actually wear a different set of shoes to registration because they will ask you to give them your running shoes so that they can clean them for you at a cleaning station where they just brush all the debris off and then put them through a kind of disinfectant bath just on the soles of the shoes. And that is to stop the spread of alien vegetation and seeds onto the trail. And it's a lot easier to just wear a different pair of shoes than to hop around on one foot while they clean each of your running shoes. Something else that you definitely want to take with you to registration is all of your compulsory kit. You will be able to find a list of exactly what the compulsory kit is on the Otter website. Most of the time they will check your compulsory kit to make sure that you actually do have it. And if you get to the end of the race and you don't have an item, you will receive a time penalty. There's usually also some type of documentation that you will need to print out and bring with you. For instance, the Sandparks gate registration forms or sometimes extra indemnity forms. So the Otter African Trail Run switches direction every year. The one year you will run in the same direction as the hike goes, so from Storms River Mouth Rest Camp to Nature's Valley Rest Camp, and the next year you will run in the opposite direction, so from Nature's Valley Rest Camp to Storms River Mouth Rest Camp. And that is the only way that you get to experience the Otter Trail in reverse. So every year the race hub where you register and all of the action is at will be at the finish line. This year that is in Nature's Valley, so this year we are doing the classic direction of the trail run. When you do the Reto, which is the opposite direction from Nature's Valley to Storms River Mouth, the race hub will be at Storms River Mouth Rest Camp. You can run the prologue at any time between half past ten and half past four. Sometimes the times change slightly year to year. But my recommendation is if it is raining or if it has rained recently, try to do the prologue as early as possible before all of the other runners churn up the mud. So I've just finished running my prologue 
and unfortunately I had to concentrate so hard on the new prologue route that I didn't really film at all. I think I took one tiny little clip going over a river at one section. But it was actually very fun. Now all that's left is the race briefing tonight, which is also compulsory at the race hub, and then the race tomorrow morning where we'll drive to Storms River Mouth Race Camp to start. If you don't have someone who can drive you to the other side for the start, then there are shuttles that leave from the race hub in the morning. You just need to make sure that you are on time for those shuttles because if you're late, they will just leave without you. So pack a coat, you'll certainly feel the chill out there, but the bulk of the rain should hold off until late Thursday. Okay, early morning start, we're getting we're leaving here at half past four to get to the race start well in time for six o'clock. You need to leave quite a bit of time to get through the Storms River gate. So it's worth remembering that there is a toll road in between Nature's Valley and Storms River Mouth Rest Camp. So whichever way you are traveling, you will have to go through the toll road. So make sure that you have some way of paying for it. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. The Otter African Trail Run is by no means a walk in the park. It is one of the toughest trail runs that you can do. Although it is only about 40 kilometers, there is over two and a half thousand meters of elevation gain. So you're going up and down the whole time. And the terrain is extremely, extremely technical and rocky and uneven. And it's just difficult ground to move fast across. So you do need to be extremely, extremely fit and very agile and balanced as well. On the trail run itself, there isn't really any help out there. It's a wilderness area. You're going to pretty much be out there on your own. So you need to take all of your own provisions with you. There are four overnight huts where you can fill up with water. And then there's one aid station known as the Munchie Point at about the halfway mark, where they do usually have a few things like bananas and dates and some kind of energy gel. But I would not rely on getting anything there because if like me, you're at the back of the pack, quite a few of those things may be finished already and they have to hike all of that into the trail in order for the runners to have access to it. So make sure that you bring all of your own nutrition, make sure that you bring the compulsory kit that they tell you to bring and don't, don't underestimate this trail because it is really really tough. I have now done it every single year since 2017 and I've only finished it twice. Unfortunately, I didn't finish my otter race again this year. I got cut off at Blowkrantz. I was just moving too slowly and I fell behind the cutoff time. So I had to exit at Blowkrantz, but that's more than half the trail that I still got to do, which I'm very happy with. Included in your entry fee is also the awards dinner, which happens after your race. So on the evening of your race day, you do get provided a meal and there's usually some wine and beer and dessert and that sort of thing, which is also quite nice. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you would like to see more from me, then you can click on my channel name to see videos that I've made in the past, or you can subscribe to my channel to see videos that I'm going to make in the future.